We were bound for the stars. But the stars had other plans for us. Our cities were bright. We were walking in the sunlight. And then... Nimrod struck. Arriving from the stars, the asteroid obliterated our world. Radiation spread, the climate changed, and sea levels increased. The oceans were our demise, but now they're a chance for survival. Beneath the waves, we will find a new home, and you will be there to build it. Okay, welcome to Aquatico. This is a underwater base building uh, colony game. Uh, it's on Steam right now for, I think it was 40% off. I picked it up last night. Um, now, right now, what we're doing is we're looking for a location to start our first colony. We can rotate uh, our, you know, the building. I'm not sure. Uh, that's the entrance where the people are coming out. Welcome, Sea Mayor. Leading an underwater colony is a great responsibility, but we at the Atlantis HQ have no doubt you can handle it. Going underwater is our last chance of survival, since the asteroid hit made the surface uninhabitable. Focus on the production of plastics for construction, fuel for heating, and food for our people. The cold winter currents will strike soon. Build a beacon of civilization and give hope to mankind in these hard times. Okay, we've got these little uh, robotic drones, and then these are the humans in their underwater suits. First off, let's take a run through the tutorial. These are our credits, our food, our medication, our basic goods, our luxury goods, battery, and sponges. Also, we have our electricity, crude oil, fuel, and oxygen. Residents, drones, inf influence points, and happiness. Pause game using space, and then unpause it again with the J or one. I can't really read it from it this far away. Um, the speeds it's down here in the bottom of the map. You got your slowdown pause and play. It wants you to walk through each of the steps. Okay, try all controls above. We got our W S A N D. We got our hold the right mouse to move the camera. We have the Q and E which rotate the camera, hold, middle mouse, rotate camera, in and out, more of a down look, and then zoom out with the center mouse wheel. Open the food production group through the game toolbar, down here at the right hand corner. Food production. Gathering place. Okay, let's take a look. We've got these are sponges and stuff over here. So we're going to want to get this so it's kind of in an area where we're going to get close to some sponges, I would guess. 
would be an ideal spot. Uh, let's rotate the building, put our entrance slope towards the main base. Okay, and now we will speed up time and so it can get built. Okay, and now let's put the speed back down to one and additional panels. Open the job board panel with J. Okay, you can use J and then automatically assign workforce. I'm going to do that, let them assign the workforce. You can do it manually, but manually, but this is going to be a very high intense uh, game with lots of supply chains and things like that. So find the most effective location, then select and place a sponge collector on the seabed. You can see the efficiency on the hint when you place the sponge collector on the seabed. Search for sponges in the surrounding and find the best suitable spot. Sponges in the various blue marks. Okay. Production building. Sponge collector. Those are all sponges. So we will place it right there because that's got a lot of sponges in it it looks like to collect so we are short on sponges right now gathering place okay let's speed it up that built I had gone through this tutorial and recorded it but when I went to edit it, the game volume was so high you couldn't even hear my voice, so I figured I better redo it so you can hear what's going on. <laughs> okay, select and place a oil platform on the seabed. To find the best suitable location, do the G so you're getting this um, grid pattern. And want to find energy production down in the left right hand corner and oil platform it's going to give you crude oil place to build efficiency okay that's not good only 50 percent efficiency there 98 100 percent see is there anything closer to our base that's only 50 yeah see that's only 50 so I guess we're gonna do down here. We'll turn it so that the entrance is facing us. I wanna try to get it as close to the edges as I can. Okay. Fuel refinery. Now we want to build a location to refine the fuel. We can do this one up here. Let's rotate it, get the entrance over to the side, place that, and now we do an infrastructure, a pipeline. Click on the pipeline, click on the blue, let's let's get rid of this grid. I like to be able to look at the game in its actual like quality. Now we're going to click on one of the blues, hold the left click, drag it to the next blue over here on the fuel. Now that's going to connect and transfer crude oil to the fuel production. Okay, now we're going to click on the sponge production and we're going to production boost to two. Build radius. We can increase, as you see, the build radius increases the area where you can salvage from expansion adds one worker we're not going to do that right now let's get to get this uh, fuel production completed speed it up okay now select a place a plastic factory on the seabed Connect your plastic factory and the existing pipeline. 
plastic factories use the sponges harvested and produce plastics, a crude mineral used to construct various structures. Okay, production building down the left, right hand corner, and plastic factory. Click on it. We're gonna, we don't want to make so we're getting rid of a bunch of the sponges, but what we're going to do is we're going to place it here. Let's put our entrance towards the main base. And we need our pipeline. So now there's, I don't see anywhere to connect the pipeline to the sponge gatherer. But what we're going to do is we're going to run from here over to the existing pipeline. Now, harvest desired resources. Drag a box around the area you want to harvest. Some minerals can be found and salvaged in your immediate surroundings such as plastics, iron, stone, and sponge. To gather them on game toolbar, left click, left mouse click, and open the clear building resource and resources. Gather stone, iron, and plastic. Okay, now we click on, it looks like a little uh, plow. Click on gather stone, plastic, and harvest. And take and you can hold left click and you see it gathered iron. Okay, now additional panel. Research. Now we want to research a turbine. It takes five days, but five days goes by really fast, so not a real big issue. See, now they're coming out and they're gathering this iron. I think if you want to go look around um, for other things like we got, what's this? This is stone. Uh, we can gather some stone, which I don't know if they let you do it in the res in the tutorial. Oh, wait a minute, gather. Okay. Okay, gather some stone. Let's see if we can find any plastic. Because we got iron, stone. There should be some plastics around here, but it's just... got to be something here. Um, yeah, plastics. Okay. Let's set together that too. It puts a little plastic box above it when you click on the right spot. I don't know if they'll split the tasks between them or if they'll finish this task and then go do that. There's some are going out gathering stone now too. Okay, let's uh, speed it up a little bit here. Get that production done. Research is complete. Okay, let's do our additional panel again. Research. Now we've got the turbines research. We can't do any more research yet, so uh, what we want to do is Select and place a dome on the seabed. Houses and civilian buildings can only be built inside wall, well-pressurized hubs called domes, which can sustain a normal everyday life. Okay, down in the right-hand corner, domes, small dome. From this angle, it doesn't look small. <laughs> Let's see, we want to get, here we go, um, let's place it, right, try to get it as close, but not too close, okay, get past it, see these are the two guys, they need to, uh, wow, they have a long ways to walk, where are they going? Or are they helping harvest? They must be. I thought the drones would do all that.
Okay, let's see. Let's turn the speed back again. Uh, let's see. Toggle between ground and dome views. Use your tab key. Okay, now we're in the dome. And we want to build some houses. Try putting them in the corner. I'm going to do a couple of them. It says to do two to get started. Now we're going to research. We're going to research oxygen generator. And let's get back out of the dome view. Place a turbine. This will be our energy production. Go down to the right hand corner, energy production, and turbine. You can place a turbine close to the main base. Here we go. It's only going to let us build one at this time uh, through the tutorial. You can build, build as many as you want once you're past the tutorial phase. Okay, now it's got this little chain, so that means they want you to link them together. Infrastructure, pipeline. Okay, and let's. I think we can connect it to the main pipeline also. Don't really have the people yet. 
So I'm thinking we're going to focus on other stuff first. I was just, sorry, talking up, talking things through. <laughs> Public buildings, we got the depot. Let's grab a depot. We don't have that yet. This is where we're going to store resources. I'm flipping towards, so it's facing towards our dome. Battery factory is not completed yet, so let's speed it up and get it finished. Steam. 
Um, if you'd like to see continued episodes, let me know down in the comments and you hit that like button so I know to continue going through this game and we'll see how well we can do. Have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you in the comments.